Have you ever wondered what a repository is? Or why is it so crucial in the world of Ubuntu? If you have found yourself pondering these questions, you have come to the right place. In this tutorial, I will embark on an enlightening journey into the heart of Ubuntu software ecosystem, how they work, different types, and managing Ubuntu repositories. So let's unravel the mysteries of Ubuntu repository system. And don't forget to check out the video description box for the article link and the commands. Repositories are software libraries that Ubuntu and other Debian-based Linux systems use to find and install programs. Let's think of them as bookshelves filled with applications. The main tool that manages these repositories is called apt. It keeps a list of these repositories in a file called source list, located in the etc apt folder. Inside this list, you will discover the web addresses of these bookshelves telling apt where to go to download and install the programs you want. Each repository entry in the list specifies the location of the repository, the release code name, and the sections of packages available in that repository, such as Debian repositories contain binaries and precompiled packages. They are required for most users. Next, Debian source contains the source code of the packages. These are useful for developers. Furthermore, URL is the web address where the repository is hosted. Release codename repository represents the code name of the specific Ubuntu release version, such as Jammy for Ubuntu 22.04.2 LTS. Finally, Ubuntu repositories are divided into four main sections. Firstly, main. It contains officially supported open source software and maintained by the Ubuntu community. Secondly, restricted. It includes proprietary software that is supported by Ubuntu but not open source. Next, universe. That comprises community maintained open source software. Lastly, multiverse, which contains proprietary or restricted software not supported by Ubuntu. Each section contains different software packages and users can choose which repositories to include in their system's repository list based on their software requirements and preferences. Now let's talk about the types of Ubuntu repositories which are main, restricted, universe and multiverse. The first category is main repository. It is the main place for software in Ubuntu, and it only has free and open source software. That means you can share this software freely. Ubuntu developers support all the software here and make sure it's safe to use. For example, Rhythmbox, the music player that comes with Ubuntu is from this place. Just like the main repository, the universe repository has free and open source software. But here's the difference. While main gets official help from Ubuntu developers, the universe relies on the community for updates. You can find cool stuff like VLC Media Player and OpenShot Video Editor in the universe repository. Multiverse, it does not have free and open source software. So Ubuntu can't turn on the multiverse repository automatically for the licensing and legal problems. They also can't give updates and fix the software issues. The restricted repositories focus on the hardware-related software, especially things with special rules. This includes drivers for things like graphic cards, touchscreen network cards, and more. The partner repository, on the other hand, consists of proprietary software that Ubuntu has compiled from its partners. Third-party repositories are external software repositories that are not officially maintained by Ubuntu or its parent company Canonical. They are created and maintained by independent developers, organizations, or communities. To check the list of Ubuntu repositories configured on your system, you can run various commands. For example, you can use this command to see the main repository list. And here you can see all the repository lists are displayed in the terminal. Now, if you want to check the additional repositories, you need to run two commands. This is the first command and with this, you will navigate to the source list directory. 
to see the list of repositories, type ls. And see, I have three additional repositories. Suppose you want to see content of a specific repository, for example, team viewer. So enter this command. Scroll up and see all the contents of team viewer is displayed. Apart from all these three commands, you can simply use sudo apt add repository dash dash list to check all the repository list. And here you can see with this simple command, I have listed all the available repositories in my system. You can control your Ubuntu repositories by adding, removing and updating the software sources that your system depends on for package installations and updates. Since Ubuntu employs apt for package management, it's through the configuration of apt repositories that you can manage your system's repositories. To add a repository using CLI, open the terminal and enter the command sudo app add repository and the repository link. Here I am adding Mozilla Team repository. So the repository is added successfully, but before checking, I will update my repository with the command sudo app update. Now to check the list, type sudo app add repository dash dash list. And here you can see Mozilla Team repository is added successfully. Now if you want to remove a repository from the list, enter the command sudo app add repository dash dash remove and the repository link. I am removing the Mozilla team repository again. Again updating the repository with the previous command and checking the list again. And you can see Mozilla team repository is removed from the list. If you want to disable a repository, open the terminal and run the command. A text editor file has opened and you can see a list of repositories. Find out the repository you want to make disable and simply comment out the corresponding line by adding a hash at the beginning of the line. Then save the file and you are done with disabling the repository. To update the repository, use the command sudo apt update. And see, the repository is updated. Repositories play many vital roles in the Linux system, making it easier for different versions of Ubuntu to share and manage software packages. Here are some of their key functions. Software distribution. Repositories act as central hubs where developers can share their software with a wide user community. Next, package management. Repositories help us handle software easily. They make it simple to find, install, update, and remove programs using tools like app. In terms of dependency management, sometimes software needs other things to work correctly. Repositories create safe environments where software and its needed parts are carefully organized. Version management. Repositories keep different versions of software packages. Distribution upgrades. When a new Ubuntu version comes out, repositories play a big role. They make it easy for you to switch by updating your software. Finally, security and stability. Canonical and the Ubuntu community take good care of the repositories. They review, test and make sure the software is safe and stable before putting it in the official repositories. In conclusion, the Ubuntu repository is like a curated library of software. Throughout this detailed guide, we have highlighted how repositories keep software organized, secure and easy to update. To learn more about Linux, you can check out our website and YouTube channel. Happy Linuxing!